Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. I'm back out today with my good friend Patrick from Philly. We're out at the spillway. Now, tomorrow is actually the full moon, which means the fishing's gonna be not that great. Maybe a solar noon thing didn't tomorrow. Today is the first day before the full moon, so that means it's about the same today. So, what are we gonna do today? <laughs> Look at this. This is the lock over here in Bonacary. Look how low it is. You could just walk through that. It is looking dirty. We are going to snag some Asian carp today, but not here. Just wanted to take a look at this. Check it out. As I stand up here and I observe the water, I do see some movement here and there, but there's not a lot. We're gonna go to a place where there's a lot. Come on, I've got some good info. All right, we're looking for this one pond that the ranger just told me about that has a lot in it. But at this point, as we go underneath the trestle, the road goes from gravel to sand and we're in a little rental car. So, a little dicey. Little dicey. The good thing is we don't have to go far because the pond is right here. We just gotta find a safe place to park. Let's check it out. As I walk towards the bank, stuff is moving around. Oh. Oh, right there. Definitely got to be, it's either a big head or a silver carp. Time to get on top of this. All right, guys, let's talk about how we're doing this. Look at that. That it is a 12 aught treble hook. They're expensive though, like 14 bucks a pack. Here we got 10 aught. So 10 aught and 12 aught works good. The cheaper route you could do is get some two aught treble hooks and then you would do a drop shot or a Carolina rig may work, but in the past I've done a drop shot using like an ounce or a little less. I've got qu uh, three quarters in here somewhere. What we're gonna do is we're gonna both use 12 aught and we're gonna see if we can do this without any added weight. Now a friend of mine, Matt, a subscriber too, who does this a lot out here, I wish he could have joined us this week, but unfortunately, He's out of town. He adds weight. He uses like an ounce to a half ounce bank sinker doing a drop shot with the you know the weight below this hook. We're gonna see how we can do with just these because these are they feel kind of heavy, maybe around a half ounce or so. Alright, so I'm gonna walk along the water here and try to sight fish them, see if I can see them tailing or in the water. The water's kind of dark. I can see a little bit through it with my polarized sunglasses on. First off, let's see how far I can cast just the hook. That's not too bad. I could see if you added weight that you would get a more of a distance cast and maybe it would sink in case you know they're deeper in the column this isn't a real shallow or a real deep lake i did leave a bit a bit of a good length of tag end here in case i do want to add weight but let's journey around here see if we can find something good to snag adding this ounce weight i think is going to improve I will be able to cast farther like this, but a little bit of weight might just help keep this treble hook lower in the water column as I snag. It's a little too high in the water column, by my opinion. Yeah, much further of a cast. Let's see if it holds it much lower, which I know it will.
Oh, I hit something there. Look at this, guys. I did hit something for sure. Got scales on the tip there. Awesome. He got one. Oh, shoot. Hold on, guys. I'm. Oh, wow. Oh, he's just holding down, huh? Holding his head down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Look at that. Wow, we got this just in time. We're about to take a break and do a battery switcheroo. Nice, now by law, cannot return these to the water live. We're just going to dispose of it. Wow. Yeah, you're right, another gold star fish for you, Patrick. Yep, another, uh, another fish on the list. Of First Asian carp. Now, I'm not an expert in the two Asian carp. I think that's a silver head but it could be a big head. You tell me. I'm, I'm still not really good at telling the two apart, but I think it might be a silver carp. Patrick got this fish off the bottom because I brought him a lead using a one ounce. It really seems to help keep the hook further down in the column. If you throw without a lead, you're just rocking this through the uh, top part of the water. We're both using pretty hefty braid. I'm using 80 pound test and Pat is using 50, I think. Mine is H2O, Academy brand. So it's a thicker diameter than Power Pro. And I think you're using a, a better brand than H2O, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not too sure what this is. It might be Spider Wire or Power Pro. Those both have a thinner diameter than this Academy brand. I think Pat is snagged up. This is the second time for him to be snagged up. The first time I got it free, whatever this is, you're bringing it in. Got one. Oh, yes. Got off. Did he? No, I still got him. Oh, they put up such a fight.
I'm using a medium tough coastal tough rod. It's a very affordable rod that you just get at a lot of different Walmarts in this region in Southeast Louisiana. I paid like 20 bucks. It's probably because of inflation right now, a lot more than that. Yes, it is big. I got them in the belly too, didn't I? About almost the same place as you. Do I have a good solid hookup? Yeah, it looks like you're good. Yeah, you're right, guys. Look at that. Beautiful Tip rod, rod butt to the sky. Rod butt to the sky. Like vertical. Oh, okay. Or you'll bend the... Got you, got you. Awesome. That is definitely a little bigger than the first one we got. There we go, guys. So far, we got two up here. <sighs> About maybe 20 pounds. I'm not gonna bother weighing this fish. I wanted to show you the side with the Kool-Aid dripping out. Yeah, you're right. We might keep a smaller one for catfish bait, but we're gonna make a pile nonetheless. All right, man, it's just good to get them out of the water. They are an invasive species. Really fun thing to do. All right, this coyote food is what this is. Come on. It's getting late in the day, guys. We want to actually go do some other fishing somewhere else. I'll tell you what we're going to do. It is surgery time. We are going to cut up at least one of these and use it as bait somewhere else in the next video. What did you say? I said, I'm not a good liar. But what? I was going to have him do it. Oh, man. And then he tells me this. <laughs> This knife is kind of sharp. A lot of bones. Wow, their rib rib bones are thick. Not cutting through them, of course. I'm just bringing the knife up against them. Nice and bloody. Oh yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, bring that camera down in here, guys. Yeah. Come come look at this. Holy crap. Look at all that blood. So we're, we're gonna go to Lake Pontchartrain, run some tight lines, hopefully bang into a gar, even though it might not be that great tonight because of the full moon, we might get something. It is late summer, so there might that might be the exception there. But whatever, we're gonna enjoy ourselves sitting on the seawall. I'm cutting up the rib cage now. Some nice chunk of meat right there. Yeah, you're right. You think that's enough? Should we take the other side? That's uh, your call, man. That's a fair amount. I'd, Look at all I'd that blood. So. Look at that. Went ahead and took two fillets off. Of course, I was not too surgical. Did a pretty rough cut to get them, because it's just bait. They're full of bones, but there is a special way to fillet them if you're gonna eat them. But we're just gonna take this big bag of bait here and go sit on the lake. All right, guys. Yeah, you're right. That was really fun. Can always come out here and do that. When the river comes in here again, there'll just be more and more because there's a lot in the Mississippi River. I honestly don't think we'll ever get rid of them, but there are things we can do to control the population. As, you know, harvesting them for different types of products and doing what we're doing as a sport to get either food or bait. Yeah, you're right. Now you know a bit about snagging carp and snagging carp out here in the spillway. Yeah, you're right. I want to thank uh, subscriber Matt for pointing me to the right place and Ranger Rusty for also doing the same. Thanks guys and thanks for watching guys and thanks for subscribing and I'll see you next time.